Hey guys, we're back. This is Matt. Uh, sorry about that little that little uh, pausing of the video or the delayed video. <laughs> um, I I had to find my I, I had to find my remote, but then I forget that that the that the uh, the uh, one on here on the LG one. I don't have to actually have the remote. It actually has the buttons on it. Some of them you have to actually have the remote because there's no buttons on the front. Now the the uh, my Sony one is like that. That's the bad thing about my Sony one. There's no buttons or anything on the front of it on my D, on my Sony Blu-ray player. There's no buttons on the front, so you actually kind of have to you actually kind of have to you know have the remote in order to program that or whatever because you can't do it from the DVD player. So that kind of sucks about that one. That's that's one of the things I don't really like about that one is not having the connectivity to do the you know kind of do the do the yeah. Uh, it just from just the player because sometimes you know if you don't have the remote you're you're kind of screwed you're like well i don't have the remote so i can't you know i can't program the thing other than what i already have you know if i don't have it on there i'm kind of i'm kind of you know shit out of luck for lack of a better way to say it so that's pretty much pretty much why i had to kind of pause the video and stop the video I was like, well, I can't find, I can't turn it on if I don't have anything to turn it on with, and I don't want to fumble around for, you know, 30 minutes, you know, to delay to delay the video even longer than it needs to be delayed. But anyway, uh, so we got it hooked up. I found the I found the the uh, DC adapter. I would just went ahead and hook this one up. It's not the right one to go to it, but it's the Sound Freak. Uh, I think this is a 15 volt. And now it says 18 volt. This is a, uh, yeah, this is an eight, 18 volt output, so it should be okay. You want to make sure not to over, you know, if the if you don't want to overload your output or your your socket or anything. So make sure they kind of match the each one matches the what you're gonna plug it and kind of hook it to. So as I moved the other one to the other side of the room on my sound bar, I kind of had to. <laughs> I kind of, I, my, the, the beats plug just went doot, and it popped out. I'm like, well, I'm going to have to plug that back anyway. So we're, anyway, so we're going to plug that back into the in, little end part of the thing. So we're plugging that back into there, into the line in. And this is actually a pretty long little, little cord. If you have it in the right place, it's not it's not going to be like a 30 foot long, you know, extension thing or anything like that. So I don't think it's going to be like a, a gigantic, you know, super cord or anything like that. That's not. But we're going to go ahead and start the movie. This is the. Uh, well, this is the very end of. Uh, the very end of the. Uh, I'm going to go see if I can. I think I can go back. No, no, I can't. I was like, I can't really go back. Let me let me go ahead and eject this. I was gonna say that's the end of the movie, uh, the Switch. It was actually was actually not a bad movie. I was kind of surprised. Uh, it was kind of it was kind of a cool movie, kind of a nice movie. It, it was kind of one of those romantic comedies. You know, some of them, some of the romantic comedies are kind of stupid or whatever. It depends on which one you watch. This one kind of had a good ending. You know, it had a good. It had a good story to it, and I really kind of, kind of got into the characters and the situations and stuff. And not all of them you can you can really say that about. But uh, let's see, Family Ties. I'm trying to find a good kind of movie to test this with. Uh, let's put The Good Student in. It's a pretty good movie. It'll be a good testing one because it's kind of got some regular dialogue and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and put that in. It's got Tim Daly from. Tim Daly from Wings in it, and it's kind of like a drama. It's basically about this girl that that's her, she goes missing at a at a school or whatever, and they go to kind of try to find her, and they think the teacher or whatever kind of had something to do with it because he was he like gave her like a ride home, and he was kind of like the last one to be seen with her. But it could or it may or may not be the teacher. It kind of keeps you guessing who the, who, who the person that actually did it was. And it kind of plays it out like, oh yeah, it could be the teacher, but it could be somebody else. So it, it kind of keeps you, it kind of keeps you guessing on that, which is pretty good. But I liked it pretty well. It was just kind of interesting. Not a bad, not a bad movie. And I like Tim, I like Tim Daly a lot. I think he's a good actor. I've liked him ever since Wing. Ah, uh, see, we're gonna move that over there. Hold on just a second. 
we're gonna unplug this. We're gonna unplug the. Uh, well, okay. I think I. Well, no, that's right. We're gonna unplug the little my other sound receiver for for the moment, and we're gonna move the. Shit. No. Move the shit around. No. This. Uh, yeah, this little thing around. But I I kind of like this movie. I thought it was kind of kind of a cool movie. I'm gonna try to move this over there. Move this little. Oh shit! There we go. I think it'll stay up. All right, let's try to turn this piece of crap on. I'm just kidding. I've got all these cords like from every different direction. I'm trying to like I'm trying to keep this keep this. Uh, shine on the back of my head so okay we got it's kind of it's kind of muted right now because I don't have this turned on we're gonna go ahead and turn this on we're gonna power it on and you can hear right now that's on the radio setting so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to basically change change the uh, gonna have to basically change the source because it's on the wrong source so we're going to switch between the sources, and hopefully you can hear, you'll hear it pretty soon. Okay, you can hear it on there now. And this is the 37-inch HD soundbar iLive with built-in subwoofer. So this one actually has a sub, ha, actually has a subwoofer on it, like built-in. We're gonna go ahead and play it. This is, again, this is the iLive uh, HD soundbar with built-in subwoofer. So we're gonna play this from the beginning. Actually, we're gonna have to play the stinking coming attractions because I can't get to the menu because I don't have the. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to find my my uh, my remote in a minute because this is gonna be really annoying if I don't. We'll, we'll play it from this. We'll just play it from the from the. Uh, Trailers. I'll hold it up for a minute. In the quiet of the country, an unspoken pain. I don't want to say. I'm just trying to do what's best for you. I raised my family there. Haunts a broken family. License and registration, please. What brings you home? Billy, what are you doing here? I just need a place to stay for a couple days. Is that okay? I haven't heard from you in over a year, and you show up with a banged up face and a kid, and I'm not supposed to ask any questions? The secret that broke them. Who is that boy? His mother's got some problems that she needs to figure out. You can talk about it if you want to. Nice family. We'll, we'll turn up the, we'll turn up the volume real quick on this, friend. Is he dangerous? Not as dangerous as the people he works for. You got one day. If you don't, I will be the least of your problems. The place it all started. So what's wrong? I need to find someone. The people that it touched. Where's my son? Why are you looking for him? Oh, please, mom, don't leave me! Mom! There was a mountain of drugs on my floor, Billy. You weren't lying. Where are you? Matthews, Rebecca Romaine, okay, and Oscar winner Sissy Spacek star in Lake City. How long has it been since you danced? From Screen Media. Alright, we're gonna mute it real quick. Okay, so that kind of gave you like a little bit of a little bit of taste of kind of what it sounds like. And actually, this is this sounded a little bit better than I remember it sounding. Let's go ahead and do one more trailer and see and see how it sounds. Take a treat, mom. The family they already have. A couple of weeks. You want to stay for two weeks? This, You're not even gonna know I'm here. This is a funny movie. It's called a. Uh, it's called a. Uh, you can't see it, but it's called. 
Oh, what is the name of it? Uh, shoot. I'm trying to think. Uh, it's got Dax Shepard in it. And it's got Diane Keaton. And I'm trying to think of the name of it. I can't think of the name of it. Uh, Smother. It's called Smother. It's kind of like a, about this mother that kind of comes home and, and kind of takes over her son's life or whatever. She comes to, she she comes to live with him or whatever. She has kind of like a little breakdown. And he's, he's kind of getting married and has this girlfriend or whatever. And he's kind of trying to, you know, kind of trying to cope with cope with dealing with his mom and kind of the problems with his girlfriend at the same time. But it's kind of a funny movie, if you if you guys have never seen it. Doing it. You even think about leaving this house tonight, and I'm driving you straight to a home. Oh, yeah, I'm scared. You have some serious problems, you know that? <laughs> My life's coming apart at the seams. All you want to do is get on me and grind out. Is there anything else I need to know about? Any other lies? You can also be very self-absorbed and immature. Stupid and immature. I agree again. You talk and I agree. That's the deal, right? Oh, no, no, no. Sammy Higgins, don't eat that. Academy Award winner Diane Keaton, Dak Shepard, Liv Tyler, and Mike White. That's what's so stupid. Will you shut up? Smother. But anyway, that's that's kind of a funny movie. Uh, I've actually have I actually have that one too, the smother or whatever. So, okay, so we got the feature presentation now. But you guys pretty much heard kind of what it sounded like over the trailers. I don't really need to play the. Don't really need to play the thing. And when it comes on, when you program it on, you'll have a little kind of blinking light, kind of in like in the middle. I show you. I think I turned it off, but. Turn it back on real quick. Well, I did the wrong button, actually. No, I did the right button. Hang on a minute. Oh, it's not hooked. I, I am hooked the thing. But basically, it'll kind of blink. The light will kind of blink in a little bit. And it's got a built-in subwoofer. I forgot I had the subwoofer in it. But uh, it, it hooks up pretty good. It, uh, it sounds pretty good. It's not the best sound bar in the world, but it's certainly not the worst. It's got. Uh, it does have the built-in sound bar. Or uh, the built-in subwoofer, which is a good, a good feature to it. The thing about the built-in subwoofers is, is if you don't have a built-in subwoofer in it, you're not going to get, you're not going to get bad sound, but you're, it's a little more immersive if you have the, the, uh, the subwoofer built in. You're going to get a little bit more bump, a little bit more kind of theatrical kind of sound than you're going to get if you just, if you just kind of have a regular subwoofer. Uh, the bass boost. And features and kind of stuff like that on most sound woofers or sound woofers on most sound bars are going to really add to the sound on it. They're going to kind of they're going to kind of uh, they're going to definitely add to the add to the sound. They're going to add to the experience of, of movie watching and TV watching and gameplay. So it's a pretty good, not a bad speaker or not a bad sound bar. Uh, like I said, not the best in the world. That was actually that actually sounded better than I remember it sounding. When I when I first watched it, or when I first uh, when I first like you know kind of kind of tested it out or whatever, I really wasn't that impressed. I was I wasn't I didn't hate it, but I was kind of like, eh, this is like this is not not my you know not my favorite not my favorite soundbar. But you know it, in in backup testing, hopefully it came across the thing the uh, the video. Okay, the only ba the only bad thing is this girl's kind of cute on here. She's in a She's been in other movies and stuff. It, it, uh, it's kind of cute though. She's kind of cute. I was like, I remember seeing this chick in uh, Spanglish, and she was a lot younger in Spanglish, and she lost a lot of weight. But I can't think of her name. Sarah Steele, I think, is her name. But she's plays one of the kids at the school. But uh, anyway, um, so bottom line, uh, would I recommend it? I would recommend it for anybody that's. That's not really looking for a particular, you know, that doesn't have to have the best sound bar in the world, but is looking for one that has, you know, that has decent sound for like a small room or something like that. Uh, I don't know if I'd recommend it for like a big room, you know, for like a like a living room or anything like that. But uh, I don't know. I would I would recommend it for like maybe like a small room or like a den or something. I think it would work just fine for something like that. Uh, Maybe like a for like a living room or something like that. I'd recommend something like the LG, 
uh, the LG soundbar, which has a little bit more, uh, the 300 watt one, because that one has a lot more kind of, kind of bump and bass and a little more kind of a, more of an immersive kind of feel. This one's kind of for, kind of for small spaces for, you know, dens and kind of little, you know, rec rooms, rumpus rooms, <laughs> whatever the hell a rumpus room is. But anyway, that's the, it's the iLive, uh, HD 37 inch HD soundbar with a uh, built-in subwoofer not a bad product so you guys check it out it I think it's up I think it's about 50 60 bucks it retails for around that price uh, maybe a little more probably not much more though it's kind of a it's kind of a lower end soundbar not not the cheapest soundbar in the world but not the most expensive so on the cheaper ones you're not gonna get you're not gonna get like the sound you're gonna get from the LG or something like that but you'll still you'll still get a pretty good sound and uh, you know a, a Pretty, you know, a better watching experience than you would get if you were just watching, you know, like a movie or something and getting audio from like the, ex from like the external point from your TV. You're going to get better sound definitely from using a soundbar like this. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Matt the Tech Guy, year two. Uh, stay tuned. We have more episodes coming up next. I'm kind of doing these episodes, like I said, I'm doing a little, little bit early so we can kind of get them done. So I can kind of get, get them done and kind of stay up on the, you know, kind of stay up on the, uh, episodes where I'm not, uh, where I'm not, uh, do where I don't have to do them all at the last minute. But anyway, thank you guys. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, Media Masters, where you guys can check out more videos like this and press a like, make sure you press a like if you like it. And, uh, you guys have a great day. Take care. This is Matt Allgood and you will see me soon. Thank you guys.